being with Sean. How are you today? Good, good. Sorry it was late. I had a little trouble logging in, but oh, no, we're all good. No, no, no. Okay, cool. Cool. Yeah, thanks for having me, man. I appreciate my it. My pleasure, Sean. So, yeah. Sean, your second album, Walk Between Worlds, is to be out on July 22nd. So can you tell me a bit about the songwriting and production behind this new album? Yeah, this, this one was a little different for us because, um, you know, the first album I kind of wrote on my own and, and did all my own stuff and then, you know, pieced it together um, kind of like a jigsaw puzzle. But with this album, because of all the lockdowns that happened in uh, 2020, um, you know, we kind of, uh, I only had certain mus musicians available to me. So it was just me and two other guys. And, um, you know, we just kind of, we, we were thinking about doing an acoustic kind of set, almost like an unplugged sort of set. Um, it was like for a live stream. Um, and we decided, well, why don't we try and do some of the songs from the first album, redo them in an unplugged way. <laughs> and, and then we ended up writing, we, so we ended up redoing those songs in a, in a different kind of unplugged setting. But then we started writing some other songs. And I also took some songs that are from the next album that hasn't even been, you know, recorded yet and redid, because that's going to be a very heavy album. But we re redid one of those songs as an unplugged version too. And then we wrote just a couple originals for, um, for the album. So it was, it was interesting. And we really got to, to like work through it together as a trio, um, which in the past I hadn't done. It was more just like with Gates of the Morning, at least. Um, I had just kind of like had the material and then had other people play on top of it. This was collaborative. Sounds good. And was yeah. there any particular concept that was put behind this album? Yeah, I mean, the concept was kind of like, you know, like I said, us doing different versions. That's why we call it Walk Between Worlds, because it's taking, you know, songs from the first album, Return to Earth and redoing them. And then there's some songs from future albums. And then there's some songs that are unique to this album. So that's the idea behind Walk Between Worlds. We're, you know, kind of literally walking through all these different, you know, releases and but doing them in a different light, you know, kind of like, I guess I, I'm bad with genres, but I think you would call it like dark folk or acoustic kind of, you know, acoustic black metal. I don't know, you know, so just kind of redoing them in a different way, you know, the next album, the next two albums actually I have written already um, are quite heavy. So it's going to go back to our original sound. This was kind of like a nice little, um, you know, divergence from that. Awesome. And uh, talking about the album, 10 amazing songs put together, beautifully done, amazing progression each and every song. And the end result was totally outstanding. I really enjoyed each and every song from this new album. And as a band, how do you feel about the outcome? Well, thank you. I appreciate that. And I'm, and I'm glad I'm glad you enjoy it because we kind of just, you know, we we're almost like doing it for ourselves in a way. We we're like, what what do we do? You know, because there wasn't much going on. And it was just the three of us just kind of hanging out. So like it, it really transformed into we didn't really expect it to become like what it was. Um, but we're, we're we're happy with it. You know, it was, it was done on a very, uh, very low budget. Um, and we really just did it ourselves. And uh, I thought the, the end result came out, uh, we're happy with it. You know, and as musicians, we're always kind of like, ah, oh, this could be better, this, that could be better. But at the end of the day, you could you could say that about everything. So I think we're, where we're at right now, we're, we're like, okay, you know, mission accomplished. We, we feel good about it. Well, yeah. Wonderful. And the release is almost a month away, but do you have any particular plans on your mind? Yeah, so we released our first single, uh, Moon in the Midday Sky. That was a couple weeks ago. And we're going to release one more single. Um, and then the album is just going to drop on, on the 22nd. So uh, we'll be releasing that new single probably uh, early July, like, you know, the first week of July. Um, and then, you know what, like, I, I don't, this stuff would be hard to recreate in a live setting without a lot of different people. So I don't know when we would play it out live. And I don't have any two immediate plans because, um, like I said, I have these two albums that are going to follow this that are already written. So, you know, like, I think I'm going to be really focused on the studio for a while. Sounds good. Sounds yeah. Good. Sounds good. And uh, any plans to come up with a music video? Yeah, actually, yes. Uh, that's a really good question because we actually went to this really cool property um, not too far from where we live in New Jersey. And um, 
the whole idea actually was we were going to do, it was only going to be a music video. It was just going to be like, you know, we we're going to run the set and it was just going to be actually a music video. But then we kind of shifted our focus to, no, this should be a studio album. So we put the video aspect a little bit on the back burner, but there, we're going to have uh, music videos eventually uh, for the two singles that we're releasing. So the album will already have been released by the time we get to that, but that will be something that's kind of cool to, you know, tie our listeners over until the next album, you know, so there will be two music videos Sounds eventually. Good. Yeah. Sounds good. And mm -hmm. uh, as you said, you, you have future albums, this trilogy that is going to be coming up uh, probably in a couple of months or maybe next year. But after, yes. that, after that, do you have uh, any songwriting topics that you want to move on or do you want to stick with the same kind of songwriting that are currently in process? Yeah, I mean, th these next two albums are going to be a lot of work. Um, they're really, um, they're, I'm excited for it, though, because it's going to be, it's going to be really cool. It's going to be a lot like Return to Earth. Um, and the first, the first, the, or the next one, I should say, is going to be very heavy. The one after that will still be heavy, but a little more on the progressive side. So that, that stuff's going to take, uh, it's going to take some time. I, I don't want to take too long with it, though. I do want to, like, I don't want the music to sit around for too long, and then I, you know, I kind of mentally move on. I, I want to do it while it's still fresh. Um, so those two albums are going to be a lot of work, but I'm going to try and get them out as, as soon as possible. And that's going to be the, the main focus. Yeah. Sounds great. And as you said, there has not been much of a live performance that has happened over the years. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, uh, is there any particular moments that you want to share with me today that you have that is always on your mind, something special? Right. Well, you know, the live performances <clears throat> we will get back to eventually. And we were actually um, we did do like a couple regional tours to support uh, the music, which was really cool because I only did this as a studio pro project originally and I didn't envision doing it live. But then the guys in the band and, and the guys and girls in the band all wanted to do it. So I said, OK, let's try this out. I'll have to drum and sing at the same time. I wasn't really looking forward to that. <laughs> but I mean, I, it was fun. It was just challenging. But um, I thought the live band came together really nicely. And you can find clips of us playing live on our uh, social media and Instagram and stuff like that. So I thought I thought the live band really came together nicely. And I thought our performances were, were really solid. So it, it is something we will um, get back to. And I've even had a couple guys in the band express interest in it. but. Um, it, we will get back to that eventually. And I think it'll be fun to do after these next two albums because we'll have a lot of, you know, new material to, to perform. Okay. Yeah. So, sounds good. And uh, talking about the album again, do you guys have any plans to come up with uh, CD, vinyls, or some kind of merchandise to go along with this album? I would love to do vinyl. It's just uh, out of my budget right now. Um, even you know cds we're going to print up 100 copies i think that's what we did with return to earth as well i love cds i grew up in the 90s and um, i still listen to cds um, i think they're like the best way to listen to music so we will be doing um and the artwork's important too i, I really like having something to to hold you know yeah. um and, and really love the artwork so i want that to be kind of printed out so we'll be doing 100 cds maybe down the road in the future if we do vinyl i'd like to um, but not yet. Yeah, so it's just CDs for now. And sounds, digital, of course. Mm -hmm. sounds, sounds good. And uh, what would be you do, you'll be doing on July 22nd on the day of the release? You know, I actually have a gig with a, um, um, I do session work. I do a lot of session work, uh, especially drumming. So I'm doing a session work. I'll be playing a gig uh, in Pennsylvania, actually, with a different death metal band, you know, totally unrelated band. Um, so I won't really be able to, to sell and I'm also getting my um, I'm getting further certified in yoga teacher training that weekend, too. So that weekend's going to be really uh, tricky. I'm not going to have much time to really like soak it in. But I think we'll all three of us who worked on the album, I think we'll pick a day uh, where we all get together and hang out and kind of celebrate the release and, you know, have a good time, have a barbecue or something like that. You know, sounds, sounds good. Yeah. yeah. Any, any big dreams that you have on your mind? Oh, big dreams. Yeah, I am a bit of a dreamer. So, um, <laughs> uh, you know, I, I at this point, I've kind of I think I had those big dreams, you know, more when I was like a teenager. And, and now I'm just really happy to 
or I would be happy just to be able to uh, just make enough money to make music, <laughs> you know, like um, give me a small little house down, you know, by a river or something. And, and uh, I don't need much, just uh, let me release music. You know, I just need enough money to, to make my music and, and feed myself, you know? <laughs> so my dreams have, you know, kind of become more, uh, I don't want to say smaller, um, just more realistic. Um, but I'm, I'm kind of cool with that. That's kind of, I'm kind of content with, Hey, I just want to play music. And if I could just do that, you know, that's, that's good with me. Sounds great. Sounds great. And how does get to the morning look into the future? Well, yeah, the, the future, like I said, I think it's going to be a lot of studio stuff. Um, well, I know it's going to be a lot of studio stuff because we got these two albums that will be a lot of work, but we will definitely, I, I hope, you know, God willing, um, support them you know uh with live performances eventually um so i kind of want to really hustle i'm going to use this summer to really get the next album moving um we've already started on it but it's a you know it's a long process so um you know just those two albums and then we'll be playing i think we'll be back playing live again at some point that would be cool sounds great sounds great yeah and sean finally do you have any message for the fans from the world oh man i mean just, uh, I mean, we do have, you know, we're not a, a huge band or anything, obviously, but we, um, the supporters and followers and listeners that we do have are really great. I mean, like they've been um, really supportive and I've met a lot of great people through this band, you know, like you don't, in, people I've never even met in real life, um, you know, just um, over the internet and stuff, but it's been really like, that's been kind of a, a blessing um, throughout all this. So I, I appreciate all anybody who supports and listens, um, definitely, uh, have a lot of gratitude for that. So, yeah. And then, you, you know, if you can find us, you can find us on social media, uh, Twitter, Instagram, all, all that stuff, right. We're, we're all there. So, and I'm pretty easy to get in touch with. So, Wonderful, yeah. Sean. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. And Sean, I want to thank you so much for giving me today this opportunity to have this wonderful interview with you, a real pleasure to meet you. And thank you so much for, Walk Between Worlds, an amazing album that you're putting out this July 22nd, and we're all looking forward for the release. And I wish you and the band all the success in the coming days and looking forward for more music. Thank you, Keith, man. I really appreciate that, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Take care of yourself. Have a good day. Bye-bye. You too. Thank you, Keith.